I'm Kurt Long, and welcome to Games Across America, our little coast-to-coast -coast quest to bring you this nation's honest games and craziest competitions. Now, San Francisco sports fans, they love their Giants and their 49ers, but recently, the city was teeming with superhuman athletes all running on juice. No, I'm not talking steroids. I'm talking androids. Robots right this way. The Robo Games is really a scientific exhibition. There is a wide variety of different kinds of robots. A lot of people from other countries are coming out. Where are they coming from? Uh, from every continent. What is the name of your robot? The name of our robot. We're the paranoid androids. This is our robot Marvin. Number two. Number two. Okay, does he ever go number two? Sorry? Uh-oh, is, is he peeing on me? He's a little territorial. Drop it, give me 20. Humans still have control. It's a hobby, it's an art form, but then it's also just the thrill of being at the cutting edge of the technology and being able to make these robots do things that nobody else in the world can do. Anytime you get geeks thinking in mass, you get societal benefits from that. You prefer the company of robots to humans? Yeah, yeah. I'm here with David Calkins. He is the organizer of the Robo Games, and it was started out as the Robo Olympics. Did the Olympic Committee get on your case? Yeah, you change yes, your name? Uh, the Olympic Committee gets on everybody's case. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how the Robo Games has evolved. Last year we only had 31 events. This year we have 43 events. Robot soccer is probably the hardest. You have to do both the artificial intelligence as well as all of the sensors to find the ball. We've got sumo competitions, which are two instead of two fat guys pushing each other out of the ring, you have two skinny little robots pushing each other. Do they wear the mawashi? Uh, unfortunately not. We've got Robo Magellan, in which robots are given two GPS points, and they have to go from point A to point B. Combat robots. Combat robot. Everybody knows it from uh, those two popular TV shows. It's kind of like NASCAR, you know? It's a lot of fun to watch. Is there any cash prizes for any of this? There are cash prizes, but the real prize are the gold, silver, and bronze medals. These are all personalized with little scrolling LED displays, so if you win, it'll have your name on it. Bienvenidos, amigos and amigas! Robo Perro de la Football! Robo Soccer is a part of the RoboCup initiative with the ultimate goal of getting robots to be able to beat the World Cup champion soccer team on a real soccer field. The robot that can uh, play soccer can do nearly anything. A robot that can kick a ball, that can localize on a field, can also localize in any other environment. Here comes the judge. Siphon 2. Steel Piranha. Devil's Plunger. Leatherface. Indestructible Crazy Blue Monkey. MC P Pants. I watch too much TV. It's off a TV show. Any fighting style is better for robots than others? It's pretty much anything goes. That's why we do it behind steel cages and bulletproof glass. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, all right. We put a rotating weapon on the back. The idea is to throw some robots up in the air. Our idea is to get under the other guy and ram him into the wall and break him. This is obviously a robot that should not be uh, left alone with kids. Absolutely not. This shouldn't be left alone with me. How did you do in your last competition? The guy was so beat up, he couldn't be repaired. I'm used to beating people, but that, that was a good one. I mean, I sprayed him all over the arena. What school is this for? CSUN, Cal State Northridge. They're probably getting graded on this. Do you feel sorry for them at all? Yeah, because they're probably all getting Fs. This is an outlet for geeks and engineers. Because nobody wants to see two geeks fight fist to fist. We're here at Robo Sumo. I know it's a little different because these robots aren't very fat. What does it do? It finds and pushes the opponent off the sumo ring, I hope. This gentleman's robot is lost, brought great dishonor to his family. I'm hoping he doesn't commit Harry Carey. What we're trying to do here is trying to navigate this course and autonomously find these cones along the way. There's a starting cone here and there's a finish cone up there. The real challenge, it's going from point A to point B around all the trees, the bushes. On top of it, we have a few sensors like a webcam and some... Oh, I'm familiar with webcams. Infrared. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you mean for... All right, yeah. 
level ones can walk, they can dance, they can stand on their heads. They're just very, very advanced. He has 17 degrees of freedom, and a degree of freedom is each one of these joints. I had 17 degrees of freedom before I got married. Ah, and now? now? It's, uh, maybe three. Are your robots shy? So he's shaking right now. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's a little nervous. He decided to give it a weapon. If you put a real blade in there, it could possibly cut some sushi. <laughs> First place with the Robo One demonstration, Weird 72. Do you go to the other Robo One guys and you go, in your face, your robot stinks. <laughs> no. But in here we all know. You're, no, 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 you're never, the best. never thought about that. Can you do the robot? Do you mean the dance? The robot is a way better dancer than I am. Really? Could, now he could do the robot, but can he do the human? Uh, he cannot. It's surprisingly hard to give a robot soul. We've got four different kinds of art robots. We've got static robots, which are just robot sculptures. Kinetic robots, their goal is to just look cool. Musical playing robots, they must physically play an instrument. We have robots that can sing, so we no longer have the need for Ashley Simpson. My favorite is bartending robots. They oh, have to pour a perfect too. martini. If you're looking for anybody to judge the martinis, uh, this must be a human thing. Yes, though I wouldn't, that's, I'm around touching people there. <laughs> what do you call one of those small robots? Short circuit. <laughs> I know, it's good. You built a robot that can play games. Yep, Connect 4. Drop one in there, then there hit the blue button over here. It's just going to stick that down, and it's looking to see if there's an odd or an even number of chips in each column. That's what you're going for, isn't it, robot? You're an evil bot, aren't you? Probably going to go right here. Is this going to give him a diagonal and a horizontal? Because you can do whatever you want to. Maybe he won't see it. I think he will see it. Boss, do it, robot again. First one stole my girlfriend, and now he be me to connect four. I thought the Segway was cool, so I built my own. It's got a little electronic controller that senses which way it's tilting and runs the wheels forward or backward to keep it level. All right. Don't don't fight it. Just hold still. No, no, I, I mean to do this. <laughs> With all your knowledge of robots, have you made a pleasure bot? No, this is my one and only bot. How far away are we from a pleasure bot? Well, this girls, I hope. <laughs> I think you need to uh, get out more, find a yeah. date. Um... <laughs> These are robots that I have captured in the field. They have intermixed and have mutated into Breeding the Breeding robots yes. are mutating. You have a cell phone on you? Not at the moment. Oh, no, good, good. good. No, then we can be this close. They go crazy <laughs> over a cell phone. Are you all right? You'll have to call you back. This is it, people. The championship, the super heavyweight match, super megabyte, ready to take on, shovelhead. I beat him a couple other times. He's beat me a couple times, too, so it's going to be a good match. Shovelhead is the first to attack, but a brutal attack on Shovelhead using sheer force. Here comes Super Megabike now on the offensive. Sparks are literally flying. There goes Shovelhead's weapon. That may do it. A 2005 Super Heavyweight and a Super Megabike. That's two titles in, in one night here at Robo Games. Everyone keeps getting better and better, and we have to keep getting better and better. The good thing about losing is you learn something, but it's much better to win. <laughs>